If you want to take your design skills to the next level and save some time, then you want to look at the Replicate panel in Silhouette Studio. My favorite feature in this panel is Object to Path, and we're going to cover that towards the end of the video. So make sure you stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. How are we doing today? This is going to be a no frills, no fluff, total instruction video on the Replicate panel and we are going to get to it in just one second, but I had to share. I am so excited. I got up way early this morning and I did some online shopping. I ended up over at the Rhinestone World and I ordered some HTV Anything. If you've not heard of it, you should totally check it out. And I am so excited to bring that project to you. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to ship, but I will keep you posted. For those of you that are new around here, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette, and you have found your way to Silhouette Success. I hope you'll stick around and join our little crafting community. If you are ready to up your design skills, let's do this. Let's go to Silhouette Studio. I have a few shapes set up already that we are going to be working with in the Replicate panel today. You can find the Replicate panel here on the right hand side of your screen about halfway down. We're going to start in the first tab and we are going to use a heart. Now your first option is Duplicate. If we select the heart we can go up here and duplicate the heart and you can see that it places it right on top of the other one offset just slightly. Now if we select the heart and duplicate in this panel, we can choose which direction it's going to duplicate and it sets it right next to the original instead of on top of it. Let's duplicate to the right. Duplicate below. and duplicate above. Now the next option is to make rows and columns. You can make rows of three, rows of four, columns of three, and columns of four. So make sure your item is selected and just choose how many you would like to make. We can hit the back button. Now we'll make a column. The next option is to fill your page. They're evenly distributed throughout the entire page. The next option is kind of fun. It is the mirror option, so it's going to duplicate the original and flip it. So you can see it made a copy and flipped it upside down here. That will flip it to the top. And then we have left and right, which with a heart you can't really tell that it's mirroring it, but it is. Next thing we're going to look at is rotate copies. You can rotate one copy, two copies, three, or five. So it makes a duplicate of the original and flips it. You can see there it is flipped at a 90 degree angle. And that's what five copies looks like rotated. It's kind of a mess. Let's move our original out of the way and get rid of the copies here. Now most of us have been in the position where this little dot has popped up on our element and we cannot figure out what it's for or how to get rid of it or how it got there in the first place. That is your center of rotation, and that comes up when you hit the O key on your keyboard. 
Now, the center of rotation typically comes in at the center of the object. So when you go to rotate it, it rotates from the center of the object. If we grab a hold of this crosshair and pull it down to the point on the heart, we can rotate and it rotates from the point of the heart instead of from the center of the heart. And this is important in this panel because, I'm going to pull it down just a little bit further here, and I am going to make five copies and rotate them. And you can see that it's a big difference from the original mess that we had. Let's undo that. Now let's move the center of rotation to the top. Pull it down a little bit. And we'll make five copies again. So you can see that is completely different as well. And that is when center of rotation is most useful in my opinion. Now to get rid of the crosshair, the center of rotation button here, you hit O again on your keyboard. But that only works if the center of rotation is actually back in the center of the object and it kind of clicks into place. So just move it back up towards the center of the object and it will click there. Then you can hit O on your keyboard and it will disappear. Now the second panel or the second tab on the replicate panel is advanced replicate. And we are going to use this little blue star for this one. But first I want to get it centered exactly in this upper left hand corner. So I've made a one inch square and I am just going to line it up with the grid marks. And I am going to bring this over. I'm going to select both of those and center them. Now I can get rid of the square and know that my star is centered exactly in the first square on the grid. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and increase the number of copies to 11. I already have one and I want one in each of these squares. So I need 11 more. You can hit enter and I can choose how I want each of these positioned. Now, if I choose to duplicate to the right and hit replicate, you have to select it first. So select the star. I'm going to replicate to the right And it did create 11 more stars, but they are not all in the center of the squares, which is what I wanted. So let's undo that and take a look at this button here. This is custom position. Let's click on that and it will bring up the X offset and the Y offset. Now let's enter one for the X offset and hit replicate. Now that has created 11 more stars and placed each one exactly in the center of each square on the grid. Let's group all of these together. And now I'm going to change my X offset to zero. And I'm going to change my Y offset to one. I've, I'm still at 11 copies and I'm going to go ahead and hit replicate. And now I have a whole page filled with stars that are evenly spaced. Let's undo all of that. You can also use this to rotate each copy. 
and choose the angle that you want it rotated to. Let's put in a 45 degree angle and we're still at 11 copies. The Y offset is at one inch. Hit replicate. Now each one of these are turned to a 45 degree angle from the one you made before it. So this is at 45 degrees from this one. This one is at 45 degrees from this one. The next tab in this panel is for Object on Path. This is one of my favorites. I'm going to go ahead and create a circle. I grab the ellipse shape. I'm going to hold the Shift key down and draw out a circle. And I am going to grab my oval here and bring it over. Let's select the oval and click on Show Grab Handle. That will bring this onto your element here. What you want to do is double click on that and pull. And it will fill that circle with copies of the element that you pulled onto it. Once that is on the path, you can use this other grab handle to adjust the number of copies and the spacing. Over here, you can adjust the start angle, and that gives you a different pattern that almost looks like a saw blade. And this is definitely something you want to get into and play around a little bit because you can create so many different patterns with just this tab on the replicate panel. You can set how many times you want it copied. You can release the copies. So each one is individual. Let's put that back. Okay, now I am going to make this circle a little bit larger here. And I am going to bring my heart onto the mat and scale it down just a little bit. I have it selected and I'm going to click on show grab handle. And I'm going to pull it onto the circle. Let's get some, let's get fewer copies here so we can see what we're doing. Now at this point, you can see that each of the copies is perpendicular with the path that I pulled it onto. If we uncheck the perpendicular box, they all stay at the original angle. The best way to learn all of the features and functions in Silhouette Studio is to get in there and play around. So after you've watched this video, open up Silhouette Studio and the Replicate panel and see what you can design. It's really a lot of fun. If you're designing and make a mistake, the undo button is right at the top. It's not a big deal. Just hit the undo button, go back and start over. You cannot break the software, I promise. Also, I wanted to let you know that I do have a PDF file that you can download and print if you'd like. It's um, in a course form. So if you'd like to take a look at that, I will link it in the description. And in the meantime, go create something amazing. I'll see you in the next video.